Greetings and salutations. Sam here with Common Time Productions, and today I wanted to go over some different guitar tone techniques that I use inside Mixcraft 10.5. So for a while, I've been using many different ways of bringing in my guitar tone, from running cables out from the amp and using their USB outs into my rig, or, you know, miking it up and going that way, or nowadays, DI into SSL, USB audio interface, and straight into Mixcraft. I wanted to go over a bunch of the different amp signal chains that I've worked with inside Mixcraft over the years to, you know, get decent tone and inspire to, you know, write riffs and all that fun stuff. So I've got my guitar set up here. Guitar Tone 1 is using a combination of native Mixcraft plugins, 31 band EQ, Tone Booster Gate, Compressor, distortion, multi-effects, saturation, a little bit of a de-esser, and a little bit of cleanup on the tail end there with a parametric EQ. Just some basic stuff here to get you in the ballpark of some fun guitar tones. So let's check this out real quick. And then I also set up a send track to add some verb there. Let's arm this track and I'll just record a chuggy little riff and then I'll go from there. Well, I think that gets the point across pretty decently. Let me get rid of these other lanes here. So now, unarming this track. Go back and check that out. Sweet. All right, so that's guitar tone number one. So now moving on to the next one, so I'm going to mute this one, and then I'm going to hold Alt, copy my track. I'm going to bring that down to guitar tone number two. This way, it's the exact same riff, the exact same way I played it. This way, we've got the same signal going into each amp. So this way, we can go back and forth, and you can tell what the difference is with these different amp settings and, you know, different approaches to an amp sound. Ooh, crispy. Okay, so there's another example of some native fun stuff right inside Mixcraft. So again, we were using the shred amp through the tone booster, DS around there, the equalizer. Then I set up the Voxango, amp simulator, smooth riffs, and the studio devil brought in a bass amp to bring in a little low end chug on the side. That was another approach that I like to take to guitar tone. All right, so we're gonna mute these ones. Come down to the next track. Again, I'm holding alt and then grabbing and dragging my track down. This does a quick copy. Guitar tone number three. So here's where I brought in some of my favorite Waves plugins that I like to use with guitar. So I've got a DSer, EQ, REQ, GTR3. I really enjoy this amp simulator quite a bit. It has a lot of features and options and the impulse responses for the cabinets and the mic modeling is really fun to play with. So this is a great way to jump in and get great guitar tones super fast. I really like this one by Waves. I'll use R Comp, well, it was just its standard electric guitar settings, another REQ, and then there is some stomp pedals on this one. So there's a verb pedal, a couple of EQs and an overdrive and a gate. So Let's listen to this one and check this tone out.
guitar tone number four. Figured with this one, I would go really bare bones. But again, I'm holding alt, copying my track, bringing it down into my next one. Okay, so here's GTR3 again. Here's the pedals. Got a couple of amps here. Set it up with the 57 on axis and off axis. I like this setting in, in on my real amps as well. Uh, uh, when I go into the studio, this is definitely one of my preferred sounds. And I often use 12-inch uh, open back boutique amps. Tube drivers with 6L6s and 12AX7s. Now we've got guitar tone number four. Let's play this one. <laughs> Moving on to the last one, I wanted to set up a little bit of a different scenario. On this one, I used a submix track, and then I put my guitar inside of that, and then I set up two different send tracks, one with a compressor and one with verb. This way, I was able to set up the GTR3 tool rack on my guitar track inside my submix. This way, this allows me to control it a little differently. This is one of the other guitar chain signals that I use a lot. <laughs> I guess the last thing we could do here, oh, let's be absolutely ridiculous. Pan this one way over, pan this one hard over, leave this one just a little bit for just a little, and then we'll leave this one center channel. Let's see how they blend together. Oh, I better bring in the master track to control that overall. Oh, and then let's check out the analyzer here and see how we've done. There you go, five different ways of bringing in different guitar tones inside Mixcraft 10.5. Hope everybody got something out of that. I uh, 
Really enjoy playing around with Mixcraft, the digital side of guitar after spending most of my life on analog amps. The last 10 years has been really fun digging into this stuff and learning absolutely as much as I can. I owe a lot of that to Warren Hewitt and the Produce Like a Pro community and Pro Mix Academy and all of the wonderful instructors there and the wonderful lessons that we've gotten over the years and this is just been so much fun and we look forward to many more sessions. Thank you.